there were some amazing builds at Brick Fair Virginia and I wanted to start sharing some of the new techniques that I've learned while I was there using the tubing that I actually sell on my website, bevinsbricks.com, and you'll find a link to that below in the description and the comments of this video. All three of these trees are actually very simple builds, and the one here in the center, you can buy the parts to build it right now on the pick-a-brick wall. I found this particular part here both in Cleveland and in Virginia. For the first and smallest tree, you just need some cones in this little piece right here and then also some of my Freeland Wade tubing. Start off by taking this part for your base, stack the cones together, slide your tube inside the cones, and then you take this bush, put it right in the middle, like so, and then you take a one by one brick with studs on all sides, and you slide that over top. Now I'm gonna show you how you do the leaves on the top of the tree at the end of the video. The next tree is very simple. You just take a bunch of the one by one bricks with studs on all sides and the cheese wedge pieces, put them together like this. And then I even use a variety of different colors just because I feel like it adds a little more character to the tree. And then once again, you slide some of the tubing I sell on my website down through the centers like so. And then you are going to place two more cones or even the round bricks on top of that. And the reason that you're doing that is because it gives you space to place the bush on top of it. So you're gonna slide the bush on just like in the last instructions and then put one more brick on the top for your leaves. And once the tree is all together because you already have the stud on the base, you simply stick it to your plate. This last tree, which is the biggest tree and also the tree that you can get all the parts from your local pick-a-brick wall right now is just a ton of these parts. And once again, the tubing that I sell on my website. Just like this, and just like the last ones, you take the one by one brick and slide it together on top like so. And the point that I wanna make about this tubing, you don't have to do the tubing in any of them, it's not required, but this is the reason that I do it. I can take this tree now and I can add flex to it, just like you saw in the thumbnail. The tree in the middle has this tubing in it and it allows it to flex over to give it a more natural pose for a palm tree. But not only that, it keeps your pieces all together and rigid because as you can see, I can bump this all day long and this will not fall apart. So it makes for a very strong build. And now that we've gotten to this point and I've shown you how to do all the tree trunks, now I wanna show you how to do the leaves on the top of the tree because I use the exact same technique on all of them for making the leaves look perfect. For the top of the tree, we're gonna start with four of the lime green leaves, and then we're going to do the regular green leaves. But first, before we go to that, let's come back to the stem. And this is the thing you have to do. You have to have what I call the toilet seat piece. It's this round piece with a stud. And what you do is you place one of these on each side of the one by one brick, and what I do, again, just to make it stronger and make it stay together, is I will take the sprue part, and once I put that on, I push the sprue in and through because that locks that on there to make the tree incredibly strong. So when you're taking this to displays or moving it around, it is not going to fall apart on you. And I tell you what, because I went to Brick Fair Virginia this year, <laughs> I have been learning so many different things on how to make my building builds and buildings extremely strong because when you are transporting things you do not want it to be super fragile and this is not going to be fragile at all if you build your tree this way once you have all the toilet seats mounted and the sprues push through them so they lock in good and tight you simply come back around with the lime or light green whatever you want to call that color and pop it on first on all your toilet seat pieces like so because typically what happens is the leaves lower on the tree and I just knocked the one on the back side off are generally discolored because they're not getting as much sun so that is usually why they are discolored but you put those on like so and then you take one of the other green color and then you put another one right on top of it. And then you can even add a fourth if you like, just to give it a little bit more fill. And once you're done doing that, the top of your tree should look just like this. And your finished product should be some amazing looking palm trees with incredible strength. 
And again, I just want to show you that you can take these and move them around and make it flexible if you use that tubing that I sell. And again, that's the two biggest reasons I use that tubing is number one, it makes the build strong, but number two, it allows you to give a more natural curve to your tree builds. And if you like watching videos like this and want to see more, don't forget to check out this playlist here.